Hello everyone and welcome to a new full completion summary episode for the new Atom 36. This week you can get the new Mazda Cosmo by winning the Mazda's Guide to the Galaxy Championship against at least highly skilled drive avatars, besides returning cars including the awesome Lexus LFA for reaching 50% series completion. All the details and time slots for each event and PR stunt are in the video description, while any tune can be found by my gamer tag. For any questions, feel free to leave a comment or join the Discord server. So let's get on to it and if you like and haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing for more Horizon 4 and other car games content. This week we're starting from 21%. First 6 from Rivals for completing a clean lap that means no exclamation mark next to your name at the end. And another 15 from completing a ranked adventure championship which is unlocked on reaching level 3 adventure by playing the standard type. You don't need to win and this can be done once per series and will apply to all 4 seasons, no matter the season they are completed in. To the in summer like I did and they will be completed for the other 3 seasons as well. Next, an easy photo challenge for 3% Castle in the Sky. Pick a Nissan, go anywhere around the Bumber Castle and snap a picture of it. Next, for 15% this week's Forzaton, Touch Cookie, or Tough Cookie. I'll briefly go through it here, but for more details you can check the recommended video at the top. What you'll need is a Sport Utility Hero vehicle, and you will do just fine. Second, 10 Binman skills. Go around any town and crush a couple. I find Broadway being the easiest place to do so. Third, win 3 cross country circuit events. Standard or blueprints, anything works. Against any difficulty as long as you win and they are a CC circuit. While for the 4th, 10 trading paint skills. Go to the highway and bump some cars around. Until they change colors by the looks of it. It should take around 1 minute to do so. Once done, the 200 Forzaton points of this week are yours, if you also own the Lake Lodge house, along with the 6%. Regarding the Forzaton shop, I guess there's a mistake. You can get a Lexus LFA, which you can also get for 50% Atom. Weird. Besides that, the Devo, for whoever doesn't already have several of them. In the backstage, the Zero Uno, which replaced the Lotus duplicate, took the win. Well, this week we get another chance at the Hoonigan RS200 and an F150. I guess you all know what I'm going to choose. The Hoonigan is a must-have car that will help with almost any off-road PR stunt. For the Super 7, for the first 7 challenges successful completion, you can get the Forza Edition Alpha for free. Next, it's time to team up for the trial, with love from Australia in A800 Australian cars. Full house of DMD means once again a super easy trial. As for the car, the trial is easy anyway, pick whatever. I just got the same old HSV Malu because it is the only one I have tuned to A800. I'll actually post this one full later tomorrow as it is really worth watching. True fair play trial run with the team. Might learn a thing or two about driving in a team without crashing into each other, at least not too much. Not much else to say other than, again, plenty of time for finish group pictures. As well as some fast and furious stunt tryouts. Up next, Atom Games, 800 Honda and another 6%. 
since you no longer have to win the games to get the reward, it doesn't really matter what you pick. Just play till the end and you'll get the reward for finishing second 2, which is the least you can actually, with only 2 teams in the play. At least 3 guys from the rival team knew that, so they didn't leave. I didn't even have a tuned car for this, but it didn't matter anyway. From here on, the servers started joking with us again. Thanks, PG. Anyway, with that out of the way, you would have unlocked the 50% Atom Reward, the Lexus LFA. Moving on, this week's PR stunts for about 7% each, since we're missing the remix. Mamtor Danger Sign. 1010.5 feet or 308 meters. For this one, you need speed. What else will help a lot is to clear a bit the area. So then, a heavily upgraded Supra should easily nail it, or whatever else car that can hit the ramp at around 170 miles per hour. More or less, any car from my M68 Speedtrap video will probably do so too. Deep Veil Speedtrap, 165 miles per hour or 265.5 kilometers. As always, easy for a back mono or any other fast accelerating grippy track toy. You have arrived at your destination. Brookside Speed Zone, 147 miles per hour or 236.6 kilometers. Same goes for this one. Start from the east for better momentum with the summer tuned back mono for better traction. Just forget about Bugattis or anything else. Turn around when it is or if you want an even higher score, then you can pick a KTM Crossbow GT4 from the backstage or auction house. Now, the three weekly championships against at least skyly skilled drive avatars to get all the rewards. We are doing them against pro and unbeatable, so you should do just fine or lower difficulties if these are troublesome. Retro Tourism B700 Retro Rally for a Toyota Celica. Being a car guy and loving the B group back in the day too much, I had to pick the usual 22B. Not the best gearbox, but it is more than enough against pro drive avatars or even higher. The Renault will give you a better acceleration. But what was really a surprise was the Nissan Pulsar, which finally won a championship here. This was a car made exclusively for rally stages, but never won anything until Wolf did it. Completing one of the three championships gets you over 80%. Next, journey into the night. 800 Japanese cars for an 89 MR2. Not much to be said here. Picked a 97 Skyline GTR V-Speak, which sounds amazing. So I'll just leave it go for a little while. One warning, do mind the trees on the uphill. And lastly, we have the Mazda's Guide to the Galaxy Championship, B700 Classic Sports Cars, for the new Mazda Cosmo. 
For this one, let's get the happiest car in the game. Austin Haley Sprite Mark 1. Cheap, reliable and quite fast. The drive avatars won't stand any chance. Other cars might be faster, say Wolf slow to Elan, but I find this perfect for new as well as experienced players. Just remember that you only need to win this against at least highly skilled drive avatars for all the rewards, so it should be even easier than shown. And that kinda does it with the championships too. Thanks to everyone for participating tonight. Already to at least 93%. For the daily challenges. First, 3 awesome speed skills. Just drive faster. Second, treading the needle skill. Build yourself a gate in a parking lot. Or just go solo down the castle road in Edinburgh. Third, two shaft skills. Pick this race here as the first three corners are perfect for it. You can search for shaft skill over my channel if you need more help. Fourth, two triple pass skills. Let the drive avatars go first, then pass them, in a drag event for example. Fifth, win two dirt trail events. Just make sure they are sprints, as that what trail refers to. Sixth, three great near miss skills. The closer and faster you pass a traffic car, the better the multiplier. And seventh, 175 miles per hour in any car speaks for itself once it is active. For another 100% completion, this time for the new Series 36 Atom. Hope you've enjoyed the new episode. For any questions or discussions, feel free to use the comment section below or the Discord server. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Forza Weekly content. For any additional details regarding the events, they are also available in the video description. The following week we'll have the Winter 36, for many returning cars and an additional backstage pass for 50% completion. But till then, thanks for watching and have fun racing.